Hi everyone, so for this video, I really wanted to do like a sit down, chatty video. Why not? I wanted to do my HD brow experience because when I was looking into getting HD brows and what HD brows really were um, and the outcome and reviews, I watched many of these videos and it really helped me to decide whether I wanted to get them done or if I didn't. So I just thought as I have had HD brows done, um, that I would just give my review on them and my honest opinion. I'm going to talk about HD brows first just in case you don't know anything about the brand and then I'll get into why I wanted to get HD brows done, how I physically had them done and what I thought of them. HD brows basically a brand and they sell makeup as well. I think they just started off with the eye brow palettes. I could be wrong on that so don't quote me but I really like the makeup from HD brows and the eye brow palette itself. They also have like the seven steps to create the perfect brows that you can go and get like HD brows done if that makes any sense so I think I explained that really badly. Include tinting, waxing, threading, plucking, trimming. HD brows as far as I'm aware what well, I paid for them it was £25 every four to six weeks. Um, depending on when I could do it basically but I think I had them done every four weeks and then towards the end it was about every six weeks okay so for me I started to get them done around I want to say November October November last year I want to say October November because I had them done before I went on my makeup course which was November December I got them done by a woman who previously had done my nails and um, she also offered HD brows and I went to the salon that she was in at the time and had them done there I was worried the first time because I I know that if I tweeze my own eyebrows I'm in control I can stop if it hurts but if someone else is doing it and it really hurts then I, I just I can't cope with the pain very well at all so um yeah, I was a little bit sceptical of that part because I was just really worried that it would hurt, but it didn't at all. So yeah, I had them done the first time and basically, first of all, I had them tinted and then I had them shaped um, and I was so happy. Like the first time when I came out, I was like, oh my God, like, you'll probably tell. My eyebrows sit differently. Like I don't know which one it is now, um, but my eyebrows sit differently. So one goes up. I think it's this one that goes up but I can't tell looking at myself like this one goes like up whereas this one is quite straight but basically what she did was the first time she took some hairs off the top of this one and some hairs off the bottom of this one to sort of level them out a bit more um, and I'll be honest I really noticed the difference of even the first time I was like my eyebrows look the same like and that just never ever happens I did fill them in at the end um, with a pencil but only very lightly I think if you had fuller eyebrows you wouldn't have to fill them in at all I mean I still did fill them in anyway but I was still really over the moon with how my eyebrows naturally looked without having any product through them so I thought yeah 25 pound that's like I will pay 25 pound to have them look like this I did have a bit of redness around my eyebrows where where um, they'd been waxed um, but that went down like a couple hours after so I had them done every four to six weeks um, between October and March I want to say October and March then the reason that I stopped having them done was simply because the woman who did them she left the salon um, and ventured into something different I would 100% get HD brows done again like I wouldn't not um, yes, they are expensive. I suppose £25 if you are maybe my age or younger, um, it is quite a lot, but I was like prepared to pay it. Like, and if there's actual physical HD brow salons, um, but there's like HD brows within salons, if that makes sense. But you can literally just Google HD brows near me and it'll probably come up with someone. So I hope that that maybe answer some questions for anyone who's looking at getting HD brows like I said I would 100% recommend it I mean, you don't have to get yourself tied in if you go the one time and you really don't like them you don't ever you don't ever have to go again it's not like you have to book three in a row or something like that I hope this video was informative to someone because it really helped me decide whether I wanted to go for HD brows or whether I kind of didn't and I just thought no it's a waste of money um, so I hope that that's helped someone if you have any other questions about HD brows that I just didn't answer um, or I didn't answer well enough in this video then please feel free to leave them in the description box below or as usual tweet them to me whatever you like I will answer them also all of my social media links are in the description box below Instagram Twitter Facebook page 
everything like that. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you on a Sunday for a very different video.